Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you this fun fold gift card holder that I made with Cricut Design Space. The project file contains two different versions of it and they're both super fun. In the description right under this video, you'll find a link to my Facebook group. That's where I share all my files, so come join us if you'd like to use them. We're beginning this video in Design Space because there's just a couple of things I'd like to show you. As always, you can change out these tags or images that I've used. Um, this tree and the center sentiment are both from Anna Griffin image sets. So if you don't own them or you want to change them out for something else, you're perfectly fine to do that. So this grouping is the original gift card holder that I made. The background on it is a single panel. It's flat. It doesn't open. The whole mechanism is on the front of the card. So I've already made that one. I can show it to you in the next part of this video. So I'm just going to hide it. I won't be cutting it today. And the version I'm going to cut today has a card background that flips open. And it has the same sentiments that I used the first time that, of course, you can change up for whatever you like or use it as is. I also want to mention that this card file is ready to cut. There's no resizing to do unless it's something you really want to do. So I wanted something else I want to show you. I'm a little late getting this file out. There was a funny glitch with it when I click make it. I get project incompatible and that happened no matter which Cricut machine I tried. My Maker 3, Original Maker, Explore 3, Air 2, whatever I used, I got that pop-up. I did report it to Cricut and they are looking at this file, but I wanted to show you that we did discover that if you just ungroup it entirely and click make it, then it works funny glitch. So today I'm going to be cutting on the mat. I have all my mats ready to go. I'm going to switch to my overhead camera and I'll show you how we assemble this card. So here we are all ready to assemble this card. This is the original one that I've already shown you in the Facebook groups. It just has a single panel for the background is five by seven and the gift card holder is in the center. So this new one we're going to make a little different, but you do have both projects available in the design space file as I showed you at the beginning of this video. So I put this little tree on the outside and a little something tag on the inside. These little bands that I have running across are optional. That's up to you if you want to use them or not. And we have our wishing you a Merry Christmas and the gift card holder, the little pocket for your gift card. So I think it's super cute. I really like this one. And the version we're going to make now will have the card background instead of just the single background. Take that back out. Okay. So, as I mentioned, the card background, I've already put the, I've already folded the score line and put the white panel on the inside. This white panel is in the design space file. Of course, if you like to, you can um, add a sentiment to it and have it draw or print from design space, or you can just add whatever you like on the inside by hand. So this is the background of the card. So we're just going to add our decorative panel. To this part. I just run some tape runner on it. I'm just doing a quick job of it, but of course you'll want to do a better job if you're giving this to anyone. Center it up, and there we go. 
And that's all we need to do for this background. And we'll move on to the gift card holder. So this long panel is the holder itself. We need to fold our score lines. Make sure they're straight when you fold them. We have two folds and you will notice that this fold is narrower than these two. This is the one that will hold this little cardstock pocket and that's difficult to say and it's just slightly shorter because I didn't want it to bump up against the fold, the second fold. I'll just score that again. There we go. So it's a little shorter. So you know that this is the one that holds the pocket for your gift card. Okay, so we're going to decorate that. Shall we start on the outside with our decorative paper and our image? You'll also notice that one of your decorative cuts is shorter. And that's the one that goes here. So you don't want to put it on the outside. That wouldn't work. So on the outside, let's start with this one. That's the right one. Just double check yourself. If your trim is too large, then you know you're not using the right one. A little tape runner. And we'll line it up, hopefully straight. And we want to put our tree on the outside. I did tear this a little bit when I pulled it off the mat, but I'll use it anyway for this demo. I'm just going to put it on with tape runner or with liquid tape, whichever you prefer. And you can also use um, a puff tape if you like to make it a little more decorative. We'll put it in the center. And that's the outside. Now we have this panel to do. Don't forget that it's the smaller cut that goes on here. That goes there. Some more tape runner. Maybe I'll open it up this way so I can see it better. There we go. So this is the one that folds up. And on this one I have those bands and a little something. So I have these bands cut. You can use them or not. It's completely up to you if you don't want to. Don't use them, completely up to you. I'll just add a little tape runner. Flip it over. This is um, Cricut cardstock, and one side of it is textured and one side is flat. So I'm using the textured side out. There we go. And we'll add our tag, a little something for you, or a little something. There we go. So now we need to do the inside. 
and you see that you have two decorative panels with the sentiment on top. These are both the same size, so it doesn't matter which one you use. This tape runner is so sticky. This one. And the second one. We'll add our sentiment to the middle. And our sentiment. And now we'll make our little pocket for this side. So you have score lines you need to fold. There are three, the bottom and each side. Okay. And when I made the demo, I noticed that I didn't really like this little overlap on the corners. So you can just, if you like, you don't have to, but if you like, you can just snip it off. So it doesn't overlap as much so you don't get that little bulky edge. But that's totally up to you. If you don't want to snip it off, you don't have to snip it off. Totally up to you. So let's add our decorative front to it. Hopefully straight. That's our little pocket. And we could use liquid adhesive, but I'll just do it quickly with my tape runner. Fold these in. And add it. And there's your little pocket. That's where our gift card goes. A little something on your front decorative layer and this goes just in the center and you see on this one I did add ribbon so I put it under the decorative layer so that you don't see the ends of the ribbon so that you can tie it in a bow so we just need to put some adhesive on this And center it up and there you go not difficult to make at all but because there's so many elements to it it really looks like a lot of work went into it and it's super fun I think it's terrific so I hope you're going to enjoy this card file please post pictures of it in the groups if you do make some. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.